Sarah with the Happy Hootie. I'm here today to show you a way to save you some money on the bras that have these fun things. You guys know what I'm talking about. The padding that goes in the bras is one of the most annoying things that they do. First thing happens, they crunch all up, they get all funky in the front. You have to sit there and take your time and adjust it just so-so every time you put it on. And then of course you have to slide it back over your head. Balls all up. It is a frustration that pretty much every woman knows of. So I'm gonna show you a quick way to solve that problem of these little fellas all over in your washing machine and your dryer, bunched all up and taking that time to find the little hole and get it in there, wasting your time on laundry all the time. So for this project, like I said, Every time you're doing your laundry, you gotta take these little pads, you go on the inside, you gotta find the little hole, and you've gotta fold it up just so-so. And then once you get it in there, it looks a lot like that. And you have to take the time and fix it all. That sucks. That's super annoying, and it takes so much time that nobody has. Ain't nobody got time for that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a one and done, shove it in there, and we are gonna sew it in. What we need for that is, of course, the bra, pads that it came with, some thread, a needle. I can get it picked up here. You gotta get a needle and a scissors. I also recommend when you get a pair of scissors, if you're doing a lot of material cutting, mark it so you remember and your kids or your husband or whoever else in your family doesn't use this on paper because when you use material scissors on paper, it will dull the edges. So I mark my scissors. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you are gonna do the same thing you've done a million times with your bras, is put this pad in here. But this time, you're gonna put it in there the way that you are gonna want it forever. Once you have your padding in the bra where you want it to be, get some thread. I picked some out that semi-matches just so it doesn't look so homemade, I guess. Take your thread and just pull out a pretty decent amount because you're gonna be going all the way around the entire cup of this bra on the inside. I'm gonna take some out and get your scissors and just cut it. And then we are going to thread the needle. And now what I'm gonna do is it has on the bras, they have their front side and this is the lining. So when you take your needle and thread, make sure you don't poke all the way through the bra to where you have all of your marks on the outside. So if you did want to wear your sports bra out in public, nobody's going to see all your handmade stuff. You only want to catch the pad and this inside liner. I'm going to show you right here. So you want to catch it right here and this part. So you're going to take your needle and you stab it through and that is all you're getting. So as you can see, you don't see you're not actually getting this part of the bra. And you just kind of weave it in and out all the way around the bra. All right, we are coming up towards the end of this little area here. And I want to show you how to make sure you knot it off so the string doesn't just come out right away. So there's my first stitch. And I'm going to make this one my last stitch. So you're going to put the last poke through and before you pull it all the way through you've got this circle right here you're gonna take your needle and you're gonna pull it through there so it makes just a knot and that way as you do it you've actually knotted your material on here so your thread won't go anywhere I always like to do that a couple times just because uh, I worry that it's gonna come out so I just take it and I knot it again and now it is done so there's one side of the bra, completely finished. Your pad is not going anywhere. And then you can see it's sewed to the one side, but not the other. Now I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other side. Now I've got both of them done. Now I'm just gonna come through and cut off the extra string. I am all finished. I got both sides sewn in. If for some reason, when you put it on, you don't like it, there's no problem at all. All you gotta do is just cut one of the strings out 
pull it out, put your pad where you wanted it, and start back over. The whole thing took about 10 to 15 minutes to sew all of it together, but that is nothing compared to the hours of time I spend fighting these things, cursing at them as I'm doing the laundry because I hate them. They were always floating around everywhere. So hopefully you learned something from this and you too can help save yourself some time with laundry and money with buying the bras that have the removable pads and setting them in place yourself. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye.